You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Thank you, Marshall. Entertainment in malls. Now, by the time y'all hear this, it had been a week past since I like stopped in this uh, shopping mall, uh, you know, just before Christmas, and it was just me and my sons hanging out, right? It was um, White Marsh Mall in the uh, Maryland area, just above Baltimore, right? Anyway, right, you know, because he wanted to go to Dave and Buster's, right? And it was it was an interesting time because I was just walking through the mall. It was very crowded, very crowded, in a time when people. You know, we talk about the malls declining and everything. It was extremely crowded. And I saw one of my buddies there because, well, you know, I got buddies all over, right? And she was saying how, you know, the mall has been really revitalized, that one, anyway, because they brought in a lot of stuff. Now, in this particular mall, it's interesting, right? Because, one, okay, they had a kiosk. They had uh, some virtual reality stuff, which is very cool. I was like, wow, that's some stuff right there, right? You know, that's some stuff. I was like, man, that is so cool, right? That is so cool. And then, and speaking of which, I might I might get something for my kids. But that was so cool. They had, um, you know, some virtual reality thing. And it was just a little, it was just like one of those little kiosks and everything. That's what kills me. And that might be spreading because I saw that at another mall too. I was like, man, I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> and I know in this particular mall, they actually have an indoor skateboard park. I was like, wow. I mean, you know, I ain't check it out. But then they also have a Dave and Buster's. And I'm going to be honest. I hate, I hate to say this. It's the first time I've ever been to a Dave and Buster's. Because the closest one to me is like a significant drive. So, you know, I, I, I wasn't never motivated to go down there. But I liked it. Because, you know, it's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese to me. Because, you know, I've got kids and they used to go into Chuck E. Cheese. But this is this is bigger. I was like, wow. Because I thought you had to, like, pay for food or something like that to be in there. And they were just like, no. Nah. She would just pay for the tokens. Pay for the uh, stuff on the card. And I was like, oh, wow. So it was like an impromptu. I took my sons in there. And, you know, I'll probably take them back uh you know, my youngest son's birthday is coming up, you know, so we, you know, it's something we can do, have a good time and everything. And I really thought about it because I've done a video before on how entertainment venues could revitalize malls, I think. And I even, um, you know, shared a link with that one about uh, many other people see that, too. You know, they have because I've seen I know there's a. You know, one place in the, uh, in the suburban D.C. area that has like a little, they got a little roller coaster in this joint. You know, this small, it's, you know, it's mainly for kids and everything. But it's a lot of stuff, a lot of people going into that entertainment thing. And I think, you know, as we talk about the retail apocalypse and all this things going, the fact of the matter is there's still money out there. People still want to get out. You know, and I could see going to Dave and Buster's, well, it can be cost effective, uh, you know, drain some money to go there every week. But, you know, once a month or maybe even every other week or something. But I was thinking about it. I was like, wow, you know, that would just draw a lot of people, you know, movie theaters, stuff like that. And, you know, for any small entrepreneur, just think about what I said about these, um, these, these little contraptions, I shouldn't call them contraptions, but where, you know, it's like a little pod or something somebody could sit in and they got this whole uh, virtual reality thing going, you know. And the ones I've seen have so far been run by Asians. And it's just like, you know, just as an aside, you know, a lot of people ain't, you know, they, they see an opportunity where everybody else is seeing, um, you know, this uh destruction or whatever there's still stuff out there people still want to do stuff like if you look at something like a dave and busters you could easily recreate that same thing because if you really look at it it's just nothing but the old arcade because i remember back in the day you know 
you know, before everybody had video games, you go to the arcade and everything. But I think that's going to come back. Even though we still have the video games, people still want to move. They still want to have a basic thing about wanting to move around and get out, get some food. And, of course, you know, Dave & Buster's, of course, had the food. That was like the food and the entertainment. And it's like, boom. You can take them there. It's good, it's good, clean, fun and everything. And I think I think we want to see a lot more of that. You know, I think there's going to be a shift over, especially, you know, with the jobs going and especially if, uh, you know, well, I'm going to say when universal basic income becomes a reality, people still going to want to spend money. So there's still going to be opportunities there. And, of course, there might be opportunities for smaller people like uh like just doing entertaining things in a mall, like having a kiosk, you know, with virtual reality, or maybe even having something else, maybe having some type of game people could stop by and play. Something like that. Now, say, I can't think of everything, but somebody with some enterprising things say, hey, well, wait a minute, I could have them, um, I could have them be like a carnival game, throw something at this thing and make some money. I could see that happening too. I could really see that happening, but it, it's there. It's there because if one thing, one thing, if one thing goes down, something else comes up. Now, they got all these empty mall, empty in malls and everything. Somebody, somebody got to be thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because people, despite everything, there's still millionaires out there. There's still people with a lot of money who can invest. They might just say, hey, wait a minute, why not turn it into something like this? You know, that's something I might even be thinking about. So anyway, right, this ad doesn't have to be too long. But, yeah, go check them out, man. Go, go, go. You know, there's something to think about. think about. Think about the whole entertainment thing. People still got to be entertained. People still need to socialize. Even though people socialize in less and less, it's going to swing the other way. It's going to swing the other way very soon. Anyway, right, that's it for today. Let's go make that money.